Next generation rescue pump from Canterbury. Now there's two lively, remember it's lively, which we, we don't, um, it's, there's two different versions, the remembrance one, and the generic one, but this is a generic one because it's probably which one everyone's going to go for. So it's basically nothing different to the first response, but apart from this nice Battenberg colour, instead of the stripes, so it's got no stripes, and it is a FE apparently. The big difference is the new grill. This new grill is nice. And you do get this same fin, equipment, Kentucky Fire Rescue top. You do get the same E gate open, uh, ladder, retract, ladder, retract stuff. So you can see how the ladders move. Um, so I'm just going to select that. Actually, select please. So we've got a nine millimeter ladder, and I've also got a folding ladder. Detach the, put the ladder back up there. I know it's a shot fire, but I've had that call out four many times now. Nobody even gives it to me. So basically, to work the pump again, we're going to do the same thing we did with the rescue pump. So each old generation rescue pump is going to connect this to it. We're going to go to a sandpipe, so because. We don't want to waste water in a fire engine, so we're going to connect it to the to the pump uh, to the sandpipe we've already connected in the last video, and then this makes sure we never run out of water or anything. We don't run out of water. We don't run out of anything in the fire appliance. So, and then we need a tack line, and then we're going to do the same thing we did before. It's pretending it's a fire. Now this time we're going to go up a level. We're going to, we're going to go a lower level. Fire out like that. Pretend a pallet will fire, look. Just pretend anything's on fire. Basically, it is basically. I need to hide it from pretending on fire as well. So that's how you put a fire out on the rescue pump. And that's basically simple, simple. The rescue pump is actually quite a nice fly flight. It is a Volvo FL, but for copyright information, it is known as a Viking FE. But still, it's a pretty nice, goddamn, pretty pump. So this is basically your water level is green fin. So if you want to fire, I would suggest you connect to a hydrant to keep your fire engine on full water supply. These are where you can get your hoses. I don't know what this is. And there's some bits you can't touch on this fire appliance. This is where you can access the equipment, but I don't because it has a glitch in me for some reason. Um, basically, we're just going to sit there and just deselect the hose now because we don't really need that hose. We're just going to sit in the vehicle. Okay, this is this is the back of the fire engine. Pretty dark. <laughs> Pretty dark. I haven't done this actually before. I'm going to sit in the passenger seat on the FL. Okay, we're going to sit in. Yep. Pretty basic, actually tiny steering wheel. Yeah, there's not much in this fire engine. But they still make a pretty goddamn good fire engine now. I mean it's lovely with the Jupiter it looks like the proper new modern day Jupiter. So what we're gonna do is just deconnect deselect the hose now because we're gonna part the fire engine up. So again, right click, select number one and hose. And then deselect it because if you do have the hose in your hand, it will not shut the E gate. Right, so I'm just going to show you quickly the emergency lights on. So, activate the lights, we will activate the light. And to add real light, plus these real lights, add a light at the side light. L for he headlights. Take it in a nice little dryer in theory. We don't need a light to come back to me. So pretend 
time we respond to a 999 call. Fire at me. The response sensor. I think it's all sent there. This is in the middle of We don't do something in the middle of the car. We put it through the bagel. And there's one of the Panthers with the two tones. So cool on two tones. Having a two tone in it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye.